Reinout uh, Wachi is the Chief Executive, Off Chief Executive Officer of the Netherlands Forensic Institute, or NFI, a position he has held since September 2014. He obtained his PhD in mathematics and physics from the Free University of Amsterdam in a study of muscle dynamics. He has shared with me that biology is his lifelong passion and it determines the way he looks at organizations and their societal functions using the principles of evolutionary biology, like asking questions such as, is this arrangement uh, fittest for purpose? Reinout has built a successful career as director of both law enforcement services and scientific institutes at the interface of management, policy, and science. He currently leads NFI through a challenging phase in which the institute, for the first time in its existence, has to deal with reduced budget cuts while the demand for forensic investigations and new forensic methodologies remain very high. I think we'll find this perspective enlightening as many laboratories around the world are facing similar challenges. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Reinout Wachi. First, I look to the microphone. I have the impression sometimes it's disturbing. It works well in this way? Yes. Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. Chair, men, members of the AFS board, dear colleagues, it is indeed honorable invitation to speak at the American Academy of Forensic Sciences is in line with our ongoing collaboration of our countries, both our countries, in the area of forensic science. In recent years, my predecessor, Char Chinachoy, provided insights in the Dutch approach to forensic science for a special Senate hearing. My talk will focus on reconnecting forensic science in the Netherlands with science, with society, and with the justice system. I will start introducing the forensic science landscape in the Netherlands, followed by the challenge we are facing in a rapidly moving world, in a rapidly changing world. In the third section of my presentation, I will present our solution to reconnecting, and I will conclude with discussing how, through reconnecting, the role of forensic science institutes will shift the coming decade, as I see it. As in many countries, in the Netherlands, forensic science was introduced in the beginning of the 20th century by scientists who were consulted as police specialists. Their approach was holistic in a way and very crime scene centered. Just after the Second World War, the predecessors of the NFI were established. And in the 70 years that followed, we have seen a huge growth in the Institute and a huge growth of forensic investigations. However, that growth not only led to specialisms and big successes, but also to a certain distance, a kind of a gap between criminal investigation on the one hand and the crime scene on the other hand, as indicated already by Sally Yates. In our new vision, we emphasize our role in the criminal justice system as information providers to help enhance the quality of law enforcement and court proceedings and therefore to help enhance the efficacy and efficiency of the judicial system and more or less to make a return to the crime scene. The, NFV, the NFI has three primary tasks as assigned by the Ministry of Security and Justice for you on the right hand, the Minister. Beside us, Besides conducting casework, the NFI is also expected to continuously innovate its portfolio, offering state-of-the-art science and technology. It is its task, it is this task that allows the NFI to maintain an ambitious and sizable innovation effort. Additionally, we are expected to present our results and findings in a way, and again, uh, Ms. Yates already indicated, in a way that is understandable to the legal professionals and allow them to make maximum use of the forensic information. It should be noted that the penal law system in the Netherlands is of an inquisitorial nature, nature rather than the advisor, adversarial system in your country. The NFI is an agency of the Ministry of Security and Justice and is not part of the police nor of the public prosecution. 
This allows us to, to provide a totally neutral and independent position in the field of criminal, just in criminal investigation. Our loyalty is to the truth and to nothing else. We provide information to unravel the truth and in the end serve the courts in that way. Hence, the NFI is seen as an information provider. NFI experts testify with rather low frequency in court. Some key figures. In 2015, we reported roughly 50,000 forensic investigations in an average lead time of 15 calendar days. This includes rapid analysis on single piece of evidence reported in a day and very complex interdisciplinary cases involving numerous forensic investigations over a prolonged period of time. Our mostly, to be honest, our mostly high volume forensic operation is run at an annual budget of roughly 60 million euro, equating to an average of 1,000 euro per NFI investigation. And the majority of the volume of products is generated, of course, by the division of biological traces and dominated by DNA profiling and searches against our DNA CODIS database. However, in addition to our DNA activities, the NFI covers a wide range of over 30 forensic expertise areas, including forensic medicine, which offers us a unique interdisciplinary approach. As in many countries, DNA profiling has become the primary and workhorse forensic technology in the Netherlands to solve crimes. The panel strongly regulates the entries in the DNA database, and this contains its size and ensures quality. The high quality is reflected in the very high match percentage of every trace added to the database. And with the growth of the database, so does the number of matches on a regular basis. However, when it comes to true added value of this unique technology in the criminal justice system, matters become somewhat more complex. Recent research in the Netherlands has revealed that actually only a few percentage of the traces collected at crime scenes lead to additional court cases. There seems much, much room for improvement from the perspective of the criminal justice system. However, through familiar DNA searching, this technology has also shown value, how value can be added to society in numerous ways. The disaster victim identification process involving pedigree DNA investigation using specialized, specialized software has been developed from NFI innovation efforts and has shown tremendous value in the identification of victims of air crashes such as the MH17 disaster above Ukraine and returning the victims and the remains to their loved ones. Really a great societal impact. These examples show the needs for any forensic institute to constantly innovate and apply the new technology. In a forensic, if a forensic investigation is aimed at providing useful information, forensic science and innovation is needed to increase the value and scope of this information. And to this end, the NFI maintains its own R&D programs based on seven main seven main R&D programs. Each program is coordinated by a program manager and holds a portfolio of approximately 10 projects that contributes to the goals and vision of the program. Later on in this presentation, examples will be shown both of remote forensics, the program of remote forensics, and the program of big data slash cyber crime. Before doing so, let's address the challenges we as forensic practitioners all face as the result of the rapidly changing world we live in. First of all, there are challenges to be faced within the criminal justice system. For the NFI, this clearly centers around the question how to adequately service both the law enforcement, law enforcement bodies and the courts, considering the very different time frames and demands they have. Secondly, we look to the societal challenges. To make matters more complex, we are also faced with a rapidly changing society, both in attitude as in functionality. There are criminals who also embrace the new technology. 
to commit crimes, crimes that more and more often contain a digital and international co component. What to say about the crime scene in such cases? Additionally, we are faced with a changing society in which new technology creates a dynamic evidence pattern. New types of evidence become relevant and dominant, where other types of evidence become less abundant. Furthermore, the informed citizen also takes an interest in crime investigation and is getting more and more involved, but also getting more and more critical. Although in principle, new science and technology offers multiple opportunities to address these challenges, merely keeping up with all these developments is becoming a challenge in itself. Our answer to those challenges is honestly, what you cannot do by yourself, you should do with the help of others. Hence, our insight to reconnect forensic science. Reconnect to the criminal justice system. What would reconnect mean when we consider the justice system? Basically, it means a next wave of development in the way we work in the system. Traditionally, when it comes to forensic science, the law enforcement bodies mainly serve a role of securing evidence and providing it to the NFA for further investigation. Reconnecting in our minds means that we should aim for a forensic service that allows the police to perform forensic investigation themselves. This in itself is not new, but what we would like to achieve is that such investigations with the help of the NFI are of such a high quality that they can directly be used as evidence in the court of law. Reconnecting to academia, to be able to do this, what we require, the latest scientific to be able to do this, we require the latest scientific and technological insight. And this requires collaboration and connection to the best high-tech companies and to the academia. To achieve a broad and successful academic connection, the NFI has invested in establishing special chairs in forensic science at various Dutch universities. The NFI professors, one in the middle sitting and the others standing, are our eyes and ears in the academic environment. They conduct scientific studies and apply for grants, and they guard, they safeguard that we are on the edge of the science state of the art. Additionally, we have established an academic center in forensic science in the Netherlands in collaboration with both the University of Amsterdam and the Academical Medical Center, named after one of the Dutch pioneers, Co van Leden Helsenbos. And our final collection, is to society itself. Our first experiment, which you see here rolling up, our first experiment on forensic citizen science was conducted at the last year at a pop festival in the Netherlands. We had volunteers dragging the lifeless-like bodies of their friends, who were still alive, to be honest, <laughs> to mimic the transport of bodies after a murder. This experiment, These experiments were fun for the uh, participators, uh, and uh, these experiments also confirmed the limited scientific studies into the transfer and distribution of biological traces material of a perpetrator onto a victim. So we got information out of these experiments. And as a side effect, talking about interaction with the media and the public, the media took a huge interest in this experiment reporting in a very positive and vivid way on the NFI and the value of forensic science for society. Now, what will these reconnection and innovating activities ulti ultimately lead us to? We believe that to face the challenges, at least for some of their services, for some of our services, for to face the challenges, the Forensic Institute will have to undergo a shift from, from, inve from forensic investigators to forensic enablers and providers, a shift in attitude, a shift in role. And this is not science fiction. We are already doing it in the Netherlands, and we are doing it in a direct collaboration with our partners, so there's partnership at stake, with our partners in the criminal justice system. A first example is the NFI Ident project, 
where we aim to introduce bench stop technology based on GCMS to allow police stations to, to conduct high volume chemical identification of the coming drugs of abuse. Vital in this concept is the creation of an integrated forensic platform that centrally, plat that centrally performs the data gathering, data analysis and data evaluation and the data quality control, a step towards intelligence in closing the chain, the chain of the judicial system. Hence, our illicit drug experts are literally looking over the shoulder of the police operators who perform the chemical analysis on site. And this approach really creates opportunities for intelligent sample selection, for detailed analysis at the NFI, and for nationwide forensic intelligence to map the dynamics of the illegal drugs market in the Netherlands, which is really a thing in the Netherlands, to be honest. Another very powerful example is Hansken. And I'll show you the video if it works. Not all that long ago, detectives would conduct cases based on research they collected from a number of files. Nowadays, the increasing number of sources connected to the average forensic investigation could fill 15 trucks full of paper. Obviously, any detective would struggle to get through this huge amount of data. The first 48 hours in an investigation are crucial. The amount of data increases along with the number of sources and the complexity per source. Our solution, Hanskin, a system that can store large quantities and diverse data easily from different sources. All data is stored, indexed, enriched, and made rapidly searchable, a big help in solving cases. With Hanskin, we minimize the turnaround time and can combine as many sources as needed to dig up the correct facts by applying all the knowledge of the Netherlands Forensic Institute. Hanskin is designed to defend against cyber attacks and privacy is safeguarded in the best possible way. Hanskin is highly accessible to its users and offers quality output. Hanskin isn't just a vision, it's a reality. It processes three terabytes of data per hour while applying full forensic analysis, and it's easy to scale. It's our ambition to keep improving Hanskin so that it can find more traces and expand its analytic powers. This way, we can analyze more types of crimes and present the results in increasingly savvy ways. Solved. Now, of course, in a small country as the Netherlands, such as change from digital investigator role to digital developer role is easy to make, but nevertheless it is a significant change also for the attitude of our people. Where will such developments, as I spoke about with you, where will such developments lead to? It will lead to a shift in the role of forensic experts for some of the services. A forensic expert will step forward who develops the framework and the platforms in which criminal justice systems, justice system partners can start to create their own valuable forensic information. And by developing and maintaining these platforms, new options emerge. More attention can be focused on high-end forensic investigation, interdisciplinary approaches in complex cases, and criminal in criminalistic interpretation in such cases. The central data can also provide unique opportunities with respect to forensic intelligence, and I think Alastair will focus on that, providing new sources of information to new customers with, our, with the potential for much more effective police policies and policing to combat crime. But in all these new developments, the role of the forensic expert to uphold and guard the scientific validity, validity and quality of these findings remains. Quality was, quality is, and quality will stay an essential foundation of all that we do. And with this, I want also to acknowledge the recent achievements of the USA to raise quality standards of forensic science to the work of the NIST and OSEC. And it is true, this recognition approach that the NFI is trying to strengthen the ties in the justice system. The aims of these efforts are clear to optimize the value of the forensic science throughout the whole justice system and enhancing in that way the efficacy and the efficiency of the system. 
from the initial stages of tactical investigation until the final verdict in the courtroom. I thank you all very much for your kind attention and I thank the ACE organizers once more for providing me with the opportunity to share with you the views of the Netherlands Forensic Institute. Thank you very much.